single mom's first time flying with her baby. She didn't expect to meet a rich man who loves babies. Not only did she listen to music for her baby, she even asked the stewardess to prepare milk for her baby. In order to escape his parents' arranged marriage, the tycoon offered to be his wife for six months. Annie was still hesitating. The child suddenly called the rich man daddy. Annie couldn't refuse. Annie didn't expect his house to be so luxurious. Even the toilet sink was made of gold. Although the family didn't welcome Annie, grandma thought Annie didn't know any manners. Annie kept her word and put up with it all. Carl thanks Annie very much. He promised to put up with everything when he went to Annie's house. But by the look on Annie's face, it seemed that Annie's father was not a very nice man. In the evening, Annie realized that her son had a fever. Carl immediately asked the maid to prepare a car to take him to the hospital. The commotion attracted grandma to the house. Grandma didn't like Annie. But when she found out her great-grandson had a fever, she was more anxious than anyone else. She complained about Annie's lack of parenting skills. She took off the baby's heavy clothes. She said it was too late to go to the hospital. So she carries her great-grandson into the bathroom. She heard water coming from inside. Annie thought the old lady was superstitious, accuses her of harming her child. After grandma cooled down her great-grandson, she told Carl to call the family doctor right away. Carl's mom left the room, scolding Annie for her lack of manners. The doctor examined the baby. The baby is out of danger, and was relieved. Carl was laughing. He thinks Annie's overreacting. When she was fighting with her grandmother for the baby, she almost ripped the baby's arm off, and couldn't help but laugh too. Carl shared with him the life he was planned to live. He's like a toy. Every step of his life was planned by his parents. He had no choice, but and said, your fiancé is beautiful. But Carl didn't want a beautiful woman. He wanted a woman he truly loved. Carl's father was quick to accept his adorable grandson. Grandma loved her great-grandson too. Only Carl's mother still refused to accept him. When it came to the name of the baby, the sister said she hadn't had time to ask them yesterday. Annie wakes up and realizes the baby's gone. She kicked over Carl and yelled that Celine was gone. It turned out that Celine was the baby's name. Annie went downstairs in a panic to look for baby. She found her sister playing with her niece. When Annie called out the baby's name, the family slowly looked at Annie. It was as if the name had given the child a real identity. Annie didn't know what was going on, but his grandmother was touched. Annie was stunned by the looks on everyone's faces. And then Carl arrived. Salim and Carl's grandfather had the same name. It was a beautiful coincidence, and the family thought it was named by Carl in honor of grandpa. Grandma doted on her great-grandson in her sister's arms, and loved the great-grandson even more. Carl was kidnapped when he left the house. He was taken to a cold storage facility. The kidnappers kept pouring ice on his. It turns out that Annie's father thought his daughter had been defiled by him. Annie's father was gonna throw him overboard, and cemented his feet together. Carl said everyone should be civilized. I'll explain everything. The father asked him why he ran off with Annie. When Carl explained how they'd eloped and what country they traveled to, that made Annie's father even angrier. Carl begged him to bring Annie here to talk it over. But Annie's father said there was no need. I don't have a daughter like that. And that confused Carl. Then his father was about to throw him in the sea. Carl panicked and said that if I die, your grandchildren are going to be orphans. That's when Papa Annie stopped. Carl said it was time for a more civilized exchange. We're all family. Why can't we just sit down and talk? But then he was thrown into the sea. 